Hello beautiful and welcome to the first series of Hello beautiful and welcome to the first episode of Testing Together. In this series I'm going to test and talk about different products, tools, gadgets and anything that could be compared and tested. And in the first episode I'm going to talk about foundation brushes and tools for them. At the end of this video there is also going to be a little surprise for you. So if you are interested then continue watching. The first brush I'm going to talk about is this little brush I got from AliExpress and by the way all the links to all the products will be given in the description box below in case you're interested. So I got this little brush from AliExpress and it's really convenient to hold in your hands because the handle is really nice. The flat, the flat, <laughs> The brush is flat, stiff, and it has a little hole inside the bristles, so at first I thought it was a little defect, however, I gave it a thought and actually this hole is intended for the foundation. So you pull the foundation into the hole and it makes the distribution of the product onto your face very, very convenient and the layer is really, really even and nice. So I would give this brush the maximum point, however, as you can see, it broke in my hands while the first usage. So there is a little problem with the glue inside the handle, unfortunately. So I cannot give it the maximum point. However, bearing in mind the cost of this brush, which is $227, I think four out of five or 4.5 out of five would be quite okay for this brush. Moving on to the second brush, and actually I have a very funny story to tell you. So the first time I saw this brush, brush. Moving on to the second brush, and actually I have a very funny story to tell you. The first time I saw this brush was actually here on YouTube, and I saw one of the girls using it. I was like, oh my god, why is this girl using a toothbrush on her face? And then when I got to realize that it's actually a foundation brush, I was really amazed. I just understood that I have to have it. So here it goes. And I can see like from here that it's going to work very well because it has very stiff bristles, it's flat, so usually these kind of brushes work really nice. Moreover, it's quite bouncy here, so it has to be very flexible too, but let's try it out. Let's pour a little bit foundation onto it and distribute it onto our faces. So as you can see, the layer is very nice, the distribution is also very even, it's very easy to use because of the bounciness. This is just amazing! Moreover, bearing in mind that it cost me just $125, I cannot give it less than, I don't know, 10 out of 5, it's just amazing. Every girl should have it, so 10 out of 5. Alright, so we're done with our brushes and now it would be quite logical to wash them. And here comes the question, how do you do that? To be honest, I usually use my hands for these purposes. However, this time I found something really cute on AliExpress and here it comes. This is the brush egg, which is a little glove which you put onto your fingers in order to hold it. And it has little let's say ruffles, silicone ruffles on the one side, so it is really easy to clean your brush. So let's test it out. I'm going to pour a few drops of soap onto it and then with swirling motions I'm going to clean my brushes and as you can see it comes out really naturally, it's really easy and the, all the dirt comes out really nicely. So it pours into your sink without any problem. And to be honest, I really like this device, especially I like the price because it's just $1.29. It's really, really cheap compared to the alternatives of other brands. However, there is just one downside to it. I really didn't like the fact that I had to clean this thing because it, it's actually really challenging due to these really big holes. So that's why I cannot give it 5 out of 5, but 4.5 out of 5 definitely. Our brushes are clean, now it is important to maintain their shape. In order to do so, I bought these protectors, which are actually small nets. In order to maintain the shape of your brush, you need to place it every time into the protector once you have washed it. And that is basically it, the brush is saved. There is just one thing that I don't like about these protectors, is that once it's loose, that is loose. So be careful with it. However, bearing in mind the price, 20 pieces for just $1.09, it deserves 5 out of 5. 
That is it for today. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you'd like to test protectors for your brushes, make sure to follow my Instagram and write a comment under this picture saying what kind of future topics for the episodes testing together you'd be interested in. More specific rules for this contest are written in the description box below. I wish you good luck and I'll see you soon. Bye!